Welcome to the world of DRS research. Today we are going to bust in another myth which was marketed or spread by the so-called doctors and healthcare experts. Every third person got this problem at least at once in a life. What is that? The thyroid problem or thyroid hormonal disorder and why the problem increases day by day or we can say that pharmacies pushing this to people for their loves and fishes. To address the question of why pharmacies are pushing thyroid medications, it's essential to dissect the statement and the underlying assumptions about thyroid hormone production, the role of nutrition, and the pharmaceutical industry's motivations. This analysis will be grounded in authoritative sources within the fields of endocrinology, pharmacology, and nutrition. Now, firstly, it's crucial to understand the basics of thyroid hormone physiology. The thyroid gland produces two main hormones, thyroxine, T4, and triodothrenine, T3. While it's true that a significant portion of T3 is produced outside the thyroid gland, primarily in the liver and kidneys through the conversion of T4 to T3 via deiodinase enzymes, this process is not solely dependent on gut health or methylation processes as implied. Various thyroid associations like Indian Thyroid Society and the American Thyroid Association provides comprehensive resources on how thyroid hormones are synthesized and regulated within the body, emphasizing the complexity of these processes. Now we elaborate you the role of nutrition in supporting thyroid function is well documented. Vitamins and minerals such as iodine, selenium, zinc, vitamin D, and certain B vitamins can influence thyroid health. However, the assertion that simply supplementing with specific vitamins like B6, pyridoxine, B2, riboflavin, B1, thymine, niacin, and pantothenic acid can heal thyroid disorders oversimplifies the issue. While nutritional deficiencies can exacerbate thyroid problems, they are not the sole cause of most thyroid disorders. Peer-reviewed articles in journals such as Thyroid often explore the nuances of nutrition's impact on thyroid health. Now we explain why the pharmaceutical industry do not let people out of this economical trap. Pharmacies are pushing thyroid medications needs a nuanced examination. Pharmacies dispense medications prescribed by healthcare providers, they do not independently decide to push specific drugs, but they do. The prevalence of thyroid disorders, such as hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism, necessitates pharmacological intervention alongside lifestyle modifications for many patients. The Endocrine Society and other medical organizations provide guidelines based on extensive research indicating when medication is advisable for managing thyroid conditions. In conclusion, DRS research suggests you that it's critical to approach claims about thyroid health and treatment with a balanced understanding of endocrinology and pharmacology. While improving nutritional intake can support overall health, including that of the thyroid gland, it is not a panacea for all thyroid-related issues. Medications like levothyroxine for hypothyroidism or antithyroid drugs for hypothyroidism play a vital role in managing conditions where dietary changes alone are insufficient. Therefore, the probability that pharmacies are pushing thyroid medications without valid medical reason is low. Instead, the dispensation of these medications is driven by prescriptions from healthcare providers following established clinical guidelines to manage diagnosed thyroid disorders. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay aware. Thank you very much.